Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and this is a really quick video to show you how to access one of the two portals that we offer all of our web design clients. So this is the projects portal, um, and through this portal we will revise and get feedback from you guys on mockups and the website itself because we do live development uh, on a on a individual domain that you can watch us build the website as it comes up and give us feedback. So I'm going to show you how to access it and how to use the uh, portal software. So we're on the main isotropic site um, and to access the projects portal, you simply click existing client from the menu and then go ahead and do the bottom one, access slash approve product mock project mockups and dev sites. Click on that and that's going to load the portal. Uh, and I have auto filled my username and password. We will give you a username and password when you begin working with us. If you want to add additional users, you can go ahead and do that through the register. Um, so just as an example, we'll use my account. And this is the dashboard. The first page you'll load is activity and activity shows that uh, I, other members of the isotropic team and you will give comments on websites and mockups. And here will be the most recent comments uh, that comes from us. And uh, there are several functions that I'll go through later, but uh, you can approve uh, comments, you can resolve comments, and you can leave comments yourself. And all of them will show up here. You can also quickly reply. And also if you click on this, it will load the actual website and bring you to that comment on this specific page of the website. So the first thing you're gonna be accessing is mockups. It will be sending you a couple mockups and this is what you'll get. Here's a sample mockup, but each individual client gets their own mockup. This is just a quick sample. So as you can see, there's a single home page, um, and there will be multiple pages. This is just one page, but there will be multiple pages underneath it in which you can go through and uh, revise. So if you click on this, it will load up your mockup. And now you're on the mockup. And this is zoomed in too far. If you want to unzoom, just do the zoom. Um, and let's move my recording. Uh, you can go through, you can share the product, you can edit the product. What you're going to want to be using is the comments functionality. And what you can do is click on the actual mockup and leave a comment. So for example, you don't like this button color you can say I don't like this color I don't like this color and add the comment and what this will do is show the isotropic team that you want this color change and you could say please change the color to blah 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 and then on our end we'll see this comment we'll revise the mock-up and then we'll click resolve and then this will turn green. It will stay here as a record of what you wanted, but it will turn green and it will stay there. I just deleted it by accident, but you get the, the, uh, the gist of everything. So you click on your mockup to leave comments and you'll get several mockups. Usually we do a home page mockup and a basic other page mockup, which is what the about page and maybe a blog post will follow. And this is project specific. And then once you are ready to continue with the mockup, we need uh, actual approval. You can do this through email or you can just cl click the approve button and say, OK, I approve this uh, mockup. Let's go ahead with this mockup and do live development. So once you have approved the mockup, you want to go back to your home page and we're back on the mockup section of that page. And then you can go to the websites section. And I haven't really set up a sample website that takes a lot of work. But what's going to happen is you're going to show up here on the websites page when we're working on your website. And your website will show up under this section. Click on this and go ahead and hit view. And it will bring you to the actual website. And this just links back to the isotropic website right now. Also, you can see in the activity, under uh, activity, you will get all the comments. So we just did these comments on the mockup. You'll see this and you'll also get an email digest every three ish hours with any new comments. So you can stay on top of your project. 
Um, but under isotropic project management, uh, under the websites tab of this, you can click on here, you can see all the different comments, um, you can see a lot of different information, and then if this was a development website and you clicked view, it would bring you to your individual website that we're currently working on, and there will be a little pop-up right here with a comment button, and if you click on that pop-up and click on that comment, then you get the functionality that I just showed you under mockups where you can click on any section of the website and say, I don't want this here. Additionally, when we start populating your website with copy, um, we'll go ahead and use that functionality of the comments. So we'll have you click like, for example, we'll have you click here and uh, say, this is the text. I want to replace this placeholder text because usually we'll build the website with placeholder text and then you yourself will populate the website through this system. Um, so I hope that just showed you really quickly on what the project management software is all about and how you can access it and the basic functionality of it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, james at isotropic.com uh, or anyone on the team. Um, and then there will be another video showing you how to access the payment portal and uh, what you can do through that too. But this video just goes to show you how to use our management software, and if you have any questions, reach out.